kind of performance in the normal muffler. That's uh, all to do with the straight pipe. So we're gonna stick this son of a bitch in fucking uh, probably in. I don't know what that is there. B probably B one. Now we got this big fucking thing behind it. Here. We're gonna just step it out of the way. Cause... Hey guys, how's she going today? Well, the barley's fucking pumping and the dust is flying. 1682 is just loving life. Um, we've been going since about 11 o'clock here. I don't know what time it is now. Uh, two. Done a pretty good chunk out of her here already. Um, got a ways to go yet, obviously, but we're going to be done tonight, I think. Um, Dad's on his way with the 7721, and we're going to run with all three of them for a bit till. Uh, Rob and the green truck start getting behind, which won't take very long. <laughs> and then I'll probably shut down the 1682 here just because it's not uh, going to be leaving as good a straw as what the uh, conventionals are going to be doing. Well, that's pretty minor details anyways, so. Anyway, we're fucking just chug-a-lugging right along here, so. Um. Amanda was bailing when she ran out of net wrap, so she had to run the town and pick some up. And I see she's back at the baler again there, so I'll probably get Rob just to run over and give her a hand to lift it in, because they're pretty fucking heavy, those rolls. Other than that, though, Antoine's in the 860, and obviously we're in the 4640 here, so I guess hammer down and talk to you in a little bit. But it has that fucking chaff thing on it. And it uh, has a spreader on it up above. And when you got the wind on your ass, it blows all the fucking chaff back on the machine and the tractor. <laughs> Yay. Anyway, we'll get more video of that after, but. Uh, 1682, Rob and I are gonna be heading home here to go get some parts. My uh, feeder house drive clutch is no good no more. So, we're gonna rip that off the parts machine. Pretty quick job, but it takes a couple hands, so. Anyway, I guess we'll get the trucks and things moved around and we'll talk again here in a few. Well, a little bit later on in the day again here, but, uh, um, the John Deere was short-lived. <laughs> the, it's got an auxiliary, like a hydraulic reservoir and pump on it to run the pickup. And the little pump, I think, is fucked. And Dad said it seemed once the oil got warmed up, it could hardly turn the pickup anymore. So we're gonna run hoses just to the tractor and run it off one of the remotes with a splitter. I think it's the easiest way, that's how we do it on 1682. It just runs off a remote to run the pickup. And then, uh, 1682, my clutch it, to drive the feeder housing is on its way out the door or something wrong inside of it. Um, it's like it loses contact every now and again when you turn it on and now I can't get feeder housing will kick in and then right away it disengages and says that something shorted somewhere. I'm not really sure what the hell's going on. But you can bolt them solid so that you don't need to turn the clutch on and off and then it'll spin. So I might just do that tonight so I can finish and we'll be done because there's a week of rain on the way again here. So, I'm just going to meet Dad on the road here. He's got a couple bolts that are gonna work for it. And then when we're done, I have the parts 1682. We'll rip this one home tomorrow probably and pull things apart and uh, see what we can see going on inside of it that could be giving us grief and between the two, try and fix her up anyway, but I guess 
that's kind of the plan. So, Rob's dumping trucks. Antoine was going here at the Massey while I was gone. I thought I could take the clutch off fairly easily, but it's, see, it's quite a job, I guess, to get it off. So, that's gonna wait till we're not combining to get done. <laughs> But anyway, Rob's dumping trucks, Antoine is combining, and Amanda's bailing again. So, talk to you in a few here, hopefully when we're making dust again with something anyway. Well, I've done some African-American engineering here on the clutch with Dad's help. And uh, we bolted it solid. There's something electrical going on. It doesn't want to stay engaged. I'll have to figure that out at home. Like I said, I got that spare one. I just got to get figure out how it comes apart. But for now, it's bolted, so I don't have a slip clutch on my feeder housing. So I got to be fucking pretty darn careful here. But there's no lumps in the barley, at least. So we should be safe. I'm almost done this side. And then Antoine's got a little bit over yonder. And then Amanda's still bailing up a storm there. So... Uh, Rob's got the bin full, and all of the trucks are full, so he's going to go move the auger and stuff around. And I told him I'd uh, uh, combine till I'm full, and then I'd come give him a hand if he needs that way. And then the Massey can keep going since it drops the best of straw. Now that it's getting uh, a little more tough out here later on in the day, this is... Uh, even a hell of a lot better swap the straw again now too compared to the heat of the day but anyway yeah things are going quite swimmingly here with the old girl now so anyway 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 talk to you in a bit oh Amanda thinks she's gaining on me here well we'll fix that half a mile an hour Goodbye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Just cooking. Just eating the old girl. Fuck is this fun. <laughs> Alright, better, better drop one here. It's pretty fucking heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Rob, hit the brakes. Swing her back a little bit there. There we go, and then they hit the button. And watch her go. There she is. Watch the camera here. A little bit off to the side, but not too bad. Alrighty. Talk to you in a few. Well... We're to the other side of the field now. There comes Juan and the old massive, the massive Massey. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get a quick shot. Don't have too too much video. That old girl combining in here. So we're on the home stretch here on this quarter. I think it should be done in about an hour, give or take. Slugging right along yet, anyway. But, I guess, keep on combining and talk to you in a little bit. Well, the Massey didn't make her to the end. <laughs> he broke the end off uh, one of the steering cylinders, so all he could go is kind of in a straight line or like a crippled left-hand circle. <laughs> uh, shit, whatever, there wasn't very much left anyway, so... Um, this is kind of the last swath here. I'm not done done. There's a couple swaths yet around one slew that were fairly green that we left. I'll probably go pick them up tomorrow and just bin it separate or see what it looks like when we get it in the truck, whatever. There's like fucking two weeks worth of rain here forecasted, of course. That's really handy, but whatever is what it is. The barley's off at least, so. Um, Anyway, I see Rob coming with the truck. Worked out good, so we'll dump, call it an evening, and I'll talk to all you guys 
tomorrow morning in the daylight again. So, see you in a bit. be all right we'd have a pretty good chunk of it uh, done by then I mean even by tonight here uh, Antoine's almost got the Massey back together I believe so he should be out here before too long so I had a hell of a time getting the combine set um, it's just so hot and dry and chaffy I was overloading the hell out of my sieves, so I had to slow the rotor right down. Spins in there to thrash everything out. Um, I think it was just hitting it so hard and fast, it was just turning it into dust and vaporizing it. Uh, canola thrash is so easy, it's probably all thrash just from going up the feeder housing. So I slowed that down, and I opened up the bottom sieve, and I turned the wind up quite a bit. And it doesn't look... Uh, too terrible now what's coming in there. I, uh, I'd rather take a bit of a dirty sample and know I'm not throwing green out the back than have a clean sample but leave half the fucking crop behind. So <laughs> anyway, I suppose, keep on going here and uh, talk to you here in a little bit. But, yeah, anyway, well, I guess I'll bring it back in a little bit. What's for lunch? <laughs> I haven't done one of these for a while. <laughs> Hello, my. Hello, my. Did mummy break the baler down today? Just a tiny bit. Not mummy's fault, though. Was it Mai's fault? Is it your fault? Eh? You, 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 boop! <laughs> What's for lunch? Spaghetti and meatballs. Oh, yum. Oh, and Antoine's leftover magnum cake. <laughs> Wherever the hell he is. Somewhere out in the distance. Oh, well. We're gonna call it an evening here. Uh, Antoine's alternator 
crapped out on the Massey and he's having issues with the slip clutch. It's loose. I'll have to try and tighten it up tomorrow on the uh, feeder housing. I got a hydraulic line that's leaking pretty bad on the combine here too. I was just kind of limping it along here for the day, but it's it's 9.30 here now. We've done a decent sized little chunk out here anyways. So, Seeing as how both combines are wounded, I think we'll call her a night, get parts and everything tomorrow morning and get them fixed back up again and should be able to hammer down. There's not really any rain until uh, Wednesday night, so we got two more days of good combining yet. Get the 21 uh, sorted out, it's pickup on in the new alternator and the pickup back together because we had to re-bearing it to fix those rollers and stuff. The machine shop is supposed to be done with the rollers tomorrow. And then, uh, yeah, we'll call it, uh, call it a night here anyways, so, no, don't leave Rob, I need a ride. <laughs> anyways, I guess, I don't know, we'll talk to you tomorrow morning then. Well. Oh, it's the next day. Just gonna, uh, it's dinner time now. We spent all morning getting things organized and fixed and serviced and ready to roll again. Um, we'll put one hell of a dent in it here. If uh, everything wants to work right here this afternoon, we'll, we'll have a good chunk done. So, anyway, I'm gonna get the uh, hoist up here. We'll check the oil in 5020, fire them up and get this truck dumped and head her back up there. Hasn't moved. Fuck that's nice. back up. Rob made a mess last night so he gets to shovel that up when he gets here later. <laughs> right. Anyway I suppose we'll get this emptied out and head up to the field but I think that's where I'm gonna leave you guys for today. I think the Olavidja is getting pretty long here. And, uh, yeah. Look at that. Money. Anyway, I guess. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, comment, subscribe. I'll talk to all you guys in the next one.